My name is Denise McCabe and this is my Makeup Monday for this week. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator on the New South Wales Central Coast in Australia. Um, so yeah, this is my Makeup Monday and generally on my Makeup Mondays I do like a fun fold or a technique card. Something a little bit more um, tricky <laughs> for the crafter. So I'm going to do a fun fold card um, today. I think I did one last week so I'm having a bit of a run of fun folds. And this one's called a corner open fold card. I saw it over on Susan Stampfield or Stu Campfield's um, YouTube channel and I wanted to give it a go. So let's flip down to my craft desk and we can get started. Okay, so I'm going to put my light on so it'll be a bit bright for a minute but then it settles down. There we go. Okay, so this is the, um, whoops straighten up there this is the corner open fun fold card so it opens like so and folds in and it does actually I'll move my pieces out of the way it does actually stand up so it can stand to display um, and it fits in a standard size envelope let me just double check that yes it does I do know this yes it fits into a standard size envelope so you can post it um, but yeah, this is just a little bit of fun and that's the one we're going to make today. So I'm going to recreate it using the um, Hello Irresistible bundle again, but I'm using different colours. Um, but you could use any any sweet, the, the, um, <laughs> the daisy sweet would work. I'll just have to shut my window a little bit. <laughs> never ceases to amaze me when I start a video <laughs> a dog barks a power tool starts <laughs> a blower vac starts outside I can't win and it doesn't matter what time of day I do it but anyway that's okay it's all good <laughs> um so yeah I'm going to use the hello irresistible sweet again but as I said you could use any sweet the cheerful daisy sweet in the new annual catalog would be really lovely for this card um I don't own that one but there'd be many sweets that you could adapt this card to. So let's bring in what we need. Okay, so you need, your card base is going to be eight and a quarter by seven inches or 21 centimeters by 17.8 centimeters. So that's your card base. I'll move my camera out of the way. So that's your card base. <clears throat> um, your insert for where you will write on your card is 13.5 centimeters by 10.3 centimeters. You've got a few layering pieces. You've got one at 6.5 centimeters by 6.5, one at 6 by 6 centimeters, another piece of designer series paper 6.5 by 6.5, and another little tiny piece 6.5 by 3.3 centimeters. So that is, let me move that down, <laughs> that is um, all the dimensions that you need for your bits and pieces to make this. I haven't cut that one, I just realised. That will be another 6.5 by 6.5. So if you want a screenshot of that, you can take a screenshot. And then we can put it all together. So let's. Just pack it all up, move that aside. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a card base, the eight and a quarter by seven inches or 21 centimeters by 17.8 centimeters. And we're going to put that in our trimmer and we're going to score it at, get rid of the cutting blade, out of the way, gone. <laughs> I'll move that down too. We're going to score it at two and three quarter inches or seven centimeters so score it two and three quarter inches or seven centimeters and then we're going to flip it around and score it on the long side at two and three quarter inches or seven centimeters so then you've got your cardstock scored in two and three quarters of an inch and into three and two and three quarters of an inch now the next thing we're going to do 
we're going to get a pencil and we're going to mark it at five and a half inches and I like to do it with a ruler because I find that's better so where you've got the cross the cross section here with that square you're going to mark it at five and a half centimeters let me just double check yes that's correct just wanted to double check so five and a half centimeters and so five and a half inches I haven't converted that to centimeters so I can do that for you in two seconds so I just put a little pencil mark there so it's five and a half inches or 14 centimeters so you're going to put a mark there on that side and on this side like where that square scored square is you're going to do it at five and a half inches or 14 centimeters okay so then we're going to put that back in our trimmer or in our scoring cutting blade way out of the way i'm going to put that back in and we're going to find that little pencil mark up here and the one on this side too down here so we're going to find them and put them both in the scoring track so we're going to do a diagonal score so we've got them lined up in the scoring track and with the scoring blade just goes up and down and score it diagonally okay get rid of the trimmer for now and we shall bring our sample card in so we want to fold this over oops I've lost you okay you want to fold this over and you want to fold this one down and then you want to have these creases be mountain folds so does that make sense I hope so mountain folds and then it goes down like so and then you can get your bone folder out and you can press all those fold lines down so I'll do this one here this one here and then as this comes in it can just reinforce all those fold lines so that's your card base so, so you can see how that works and then it just pops up like so so that's that's the, the card base done and that's the hardest bit so now it's just all about decorating so let's bring these pieces in so this one's going to go in there like where the petal pink is it's going to go in there um, this one is going to go I only just replaced the blade on my score on my trimmer and I think I need another blade I've been cutting up so much stuff <clears throat> so that's going to go there and that piece is going to go on top and then I've got some pre-cut flowers I can't pick them up and leaves from the designer series paper so that um, Hello Irresistible Sweet Collection is um, is paper, the stamp set, and the dies, and these um, loose frosted dots, and they're in the online exclusives um, section in the online store. That's where you'll find them. They're not in the catalog. So that's going to layer onto that then we're going to put some flowers on it like so and i'm going to put another piece there another piece there and one on the inside so let's start layering so we'll just move those ones aside we'll get this little piece of designer series paper out and we shall grab our glue So I hope everyone had a lovely um, weekend, being the Mother's Day weekend. Um, it was nice weather. We had a little spot of rain, but 
nothing to dampen the spirits. <laughs> and yeah, we had a breakfast brunch here at home with our adult children and Liv's new husband. And that was lovely. So I'm just going to attach this to the back. Um, put glue on the back and attach this to this piece here. So basically the DSP is just decorating the background. I've got to try and not put my glue as close to the edge. <laughs> then I wouldn't have this glue spurtage situation. I'm going to use this side because it's so my card base is Lost Lagoon and it's a returning in um it's a returning colour and it's really pretty. So I did it on the basic white with the apricots, the petal pink and flirty flamingo and what's the other colour in this paper? Um Daffodil Delight. But this time I thought well I'll do the same card with the same suite but choose different colour selections. There we go. So that was that was my choice this time round. Now I will have to get my trimmer back in and just cut one more little piece. So as you can see, this card is coming together really quickly. So it looks like it might be a really quick Makeup Monday today. But I'm sure you'll be okay with that. <laughs> So I might as well attach this one as well. So it's just a fun, a fun, fun fold. Nice, easy one. Once you get your folds going the right way, it was just falls into place. So that's the insert. And we just bring that back down. And I will just bring in my trimmer and grab... So it's going to be six, six by five I'm going to need, of course it is, <laughs> and I don't think I've got a piece already cut in that, that will be big enough for that piece, or I could just use this piece, I could use this piece, I might, I might just do that, because it's on the inside and it's sort of hidden, rather than cutting into a new piece of designer series paper. So I'm just using that piece. <coughs> Trim her away. And so what I'm what I was wanting was a piece for inside here. I mean you could put decorations or like designer series paper everywhere, but I didn't I didn't do that. I figured the, the contrast in cardstock um made it interesting enough now I'm going to use that piece I think let me just see how that looks when it opens up yeah I think that's nice so I hope everybody else have a lovely Mother's Day and got to see family now I've got a little bit of glue there so just get rid of that there we go, pulled that in, now we're just going to decorate with our flowers, so we'll just get some dimensionals in, and I'll need a glue dot, okay, so I've already cut, I've cut the flowers out of the paper, you can stamp and emboss them if you wanted to, you certainly could do that, but I just thought let's just cut them out from the paper so pretty and this one's going down fat flat so I do need my glue again so I've got a fancy fold class coming up on the 27th of May I still have places available for that class if anybody's interested I can't show you the cards because they're downstairs on my display board which was a bit silly but not to worry <laughs> um, if you go to my Instagram or Facebook page, you'll see images of the cards there. So it's three cards, 
um, and you get the pack of Countryside in Designer Series paper as well. Just trying to work out how this flower goes. So we're going to do it like so. And the cost is $40 for the class. So I have cut three these three. I don't think that would look right there. I think those ones need to go there. And these ones. So I cut a few extras. I miscut that one, so that's no good. So I think oh we could do the yellow ones. I'm not sure about that. Let me just try and pick it up. Oh. There we go. Let's have a look. Nah. No, I don't think I like the yellow ones. No, I think I prefer the green ones. Yeah. I think that looks nicer. Definitely. <coughs> okay, so we're just going to use a glue dot to put those in and tuck them underneath the flower that's up on dimensionals. Slide it in underneath and press it down. And, <coughs> and put that one in there. So that's those. I'll keep those for another project. Out of the way. And as I said, this card's coming together so quickly. <laughs> now we shall stamp. There's no happy birthday in this stamp set. Um, there is the Hooray It's Your Day, which is the one I used on this card. I might just grab my go-to greetings, as I always do. And um, use the happy birthday from that one. <coughs> so. And look, it sits there perfectly. It will fit just beautifully oops so let me grab a stamp a block and I'll get my lost lagoon ink pad I always go to my go-to greetings don't I okay so I'm just gonna grab some scrap paper and check if I've mounted that straight. Yes, it looks pretty good. Okay, so bring that back in. And I'm just going to, without bringing my head in, pop that there. And I've got it a little bit on an angle, which is very annoying. <laughs> oh, well. Let's look at not to worry and now I've got these now these are loose they don't have adhesive on the backs of them um, so that's what you use your fine tip glue pen for and you take your pick tool <clears throat> so I put two down here and one up here I'm just wondering where I should place some of these down here as well we'll start with that and we might go for the pretty peacock ones and this one so I'm actually placing them in the same place how funny is that and this one where will I put this one maybe up here there we go and there's a really teeny tiny one. There we go. So it's always good to get the lid back on this one. <laughs> before you throw them everywhere. And the lid back on your fine tip glue pen. Or jar. There we go. So. That is. <laughs> my makeup monday for this week it's very short and sweet isn't it um so you can get some winker stella i don't did i put winker stella on this i don't think i did but i am going to put some on here just to give it a bit of sparkle 
and in here. There we go, and maybe up here. I think Estella pens are great to have in your stash. Um, they just just give you gives your card a little bit of sparkle. I'm going to go over and do this one now. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I say. There we go. Everything needs a bit of sparkle these days. Okay, so that is called your Corner Open Sun Fold Card. So that's what it looks like flat down. And it does stand up. It does stand on your to display. Um, so it does, does do that for you. And then you just open it up. And as I said, you could put more designer series paper inside to decorate. I didn't bother doing that. I think there's enough there. And it's the beautiful, irresistible, wall. hello, irresistible designer series paper in that hello, irresistible sweet collection in the online exclusive store. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, short and sweet, being when it's Mother's Day. <laughs> Mother's Day weekend so um, I shall see you all next Friday for Card and a Cuppa and um, as I said if I've got a fancy fold class on the 27th Saturday the 27th at 1.30 if you live locally I'd love to have you come along to that class um, it does require a little bit of crafting experience card making experience a fancy fold class so um, if you've got some card making experience, please come along. Um, I'm also doing a market next Saturday the 20th at Gosford Waterfront. If you'd like to come along and, and say hello, please do so. Um, I'd love to see you. So I hope you have a great rest of the day, rest of the week, and I'll see you on Friday for Card and a Cuppa. Bye for now.